Hello everyone, welcome to your own channel Food Tech Network. So in this video, first of all, I will tell you the theoretical part of the free fatty acid determination test and then we will see the live and visual determination and experimentation procedure. So let us begin the theory part. So we are again together to start a new experiment in our experimental series and today we are going to study about determination of free fatty acid and are also going to look at it live. So first of all I will tell you about the basic background and the theory about this experiment which is very important in all industry and even in uh, other industries like bakery, dairy etc. And then I will perform it uh, to get into your minds a visual interactive session. So without getting late let us begin with it so free fatty acid free fatty acid experiment ko karne se pehle hame pata hona chahiye ki free fatty acid hota kya hai so if i go by the definition which has been given by the fssai and other such food organization then free fatty acids are carboxylic acid we know that chemical components can be uh, categorized into various categories like alcohols aldehydes uh, ketones carboxylic acids etc so free fatty acids are carboxylic acids which have been derived from the triacylglycerol by cleavage of ester bonds due to the action of lipase, high temperature and moisture. हम सबको पता है कि फैट के स्ट्रक्चर में दो कंपोनेंट्स होते हैं बैकबोन होती है ग्लिसरोल की एंड उसके साथ एस्टर बॉन्ड्स के थ्रू अटैच होते हैं फैटी एसिड्स अब जिन फूड प्रोडक्ट्स में जो फैट्स ग्लिसरोल प्लस फैटी एसिड्स के एस्टर के रूप में प्रेजेंट हो उनके ऊपर अगर हम लोग लाइपेस की एक्टिविटी कर दें या फिर हाई टेम्परेचर से उनको सब्जेक्ट कराएं या फिर उनको मॉइस्चर से इंटरेक्ट कराएं तो ये जो एस्टर बॉन्ड है एसिड और एल्कोहल के बीच का ये टूट जाता है और फैटी एसिड रिलीज हो जाते हैं इसीलिए हम इनको बोलते हैं फ्री फैटी एसिड FFA. Now, why do we determine the amount of free fatty acid? Free fatty acid को determine करके हमें मिलता क्या है? Then, the free fatty acid content in food articles such as ghee, margarine, vegetable oil, butter, etc. determines its quality. Free fatty acid content बहुत हद तक उसकी quality को determine करता है और ये represent करता है कि कितनी ज़्यादा इनकी pronity है या फिर कितनी ज़्यादा prone है oxidative degradation के। For example, मेरे पास दो घी के sample हैं। एक घी के sample को जब मैंने analyze किया तो उसमें मुझे कम fatty acid या फिर कम free fatty acid content मिला और एक में ज़्यादा मिला। तो मैं ये analyze कर सकता हूँ कि जो दूसरा sample जिसमें मुझे free fatty acid ज़्यादा मिला, उसमें ज़्यादा oxidative damage हुआ या उसमें ज़्यादा high temperature moisture या lipase की activity कारण damage हुआ और उसकी product quality गंदी है। तो जितना कम free fatty acid होगा या फिर जितना अच्छी quality में fat present होगा products के अंदर, उतनी ही अच्छी उनकी quality होगी। राइट right, तो हमें पता चल गया फ्री फैटी एसिड होता क्या है वी गॉट टू नो अबाउट इट्स बेसिक केमिकल स्ट्रक्चर एंड अदर इंफॉर्मेशन वी गॉट टू नो दैट व्हाई डू वी नीड टू परफॉर्म दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट व्हाट इट टेल्स अबाउट द क्वालिटी और द ग्रेड ऑफ फूड प्रोडक्ट नाउ लेट अस सी हाउ वी परफॉर्म इट so the aim as you all know and even it's visible in the front of your screen uh, it is the it is to determine the free fatty acid content in the given fat sample the fat sample can be a biscuit it can be simple complete fat like ghee vegetable oil margarine etc right and as you can see on your screen i have shown the picture of titration so yes it is nothing but a type Titrating experiment. We need to do the titration. The apparatus, the basic apparatus which we need is a ghee sample. We would require around 5 gram of ghee. We would also require another sample that is olive oil and the same quantity, just 5, five gram. We would need a neutralizer, an indicator, burette with burette stand, conical flask, etc. Now, after getting or arranging these instruments, let's see what we need to do. We need to take the fat sample in a clean and dry conical flask. We need to take 5 gram of the fat sample, beginning with ghee and then going to olive oil. We need to add the neutralizer. Then we need to heat it until the neutralizer and this fat sample is dissolved. Then we need to titrate this using an indicator and note the readings. Now, aap log soch rahe ki neutralizer kya hai, indicator kya hai. To is sip chizo ko aur bhi achhi se explain karne ke liye, aap aage ki part mein live demonstration dekhiye. To chaliye, mein aapko perform karke dekha ta ki experiment kaise hota hai. So, let us see what all we need for our free fatty acid determination test. First of all, we will need the main reagent that is olive oil. In this experiment, we will take two reagents, olive oil and ghee as the fat sample. I have taken 5 gram of olive oil in this clean flask, clean conical flask. In this burette of 50 ml, I have filled 0.1 normal sodium hydroxide solution. And then in this flask, I have added the neutralizer that is ethanol. 50 ml of neutralizer has to be taken in each 5 gram of fat sample. 
The tissue and phenolphthalein indicator have their respective roles of changing the color and cleaning. So first of all, we will pour around 50 ml of the ethanol that is our neutralizer in this flask. Yes, exactly 50 ml have been poured and now we will heat it until it is dissolved. Then put it on the hot plate, switch it on. And we'll wait until it is completely dissolved. It will take a couple of minutes for it. Now we will add a few drops of phenolphthalein solution as an indicator. We will titrate it until a pale pink color is obtained. The reading is set at zero. A pale pinkish to violet color has been obtained and this is the end point of our experiment. We will calculate the reading. It is around 1.8 ml of 0.1 normal sodium hydroxide solution and from this volume the free fatty acid content can be calculated. So this is our second fat sample that is ghee. Again we have taken 5 gram of ghee sample in a clean conical flask and now we will add 50 ml of this neutralizer that is ethanol. We will dissolve it by keeping it on a heater or a hot plate until it is completely done. As you can see it has completely got dissolved and is boiling. So now we will take it off the hot plate and start the titration. So now it has dissolved and we will add few drops of phenolphthalein indicator. and titrate it until a pale pink color is obtained. Initial reading is 1.8 ml. As you can see it has developed a pale pink color. So this marks the end of our experiment. The standards for ghee as well as olive oil for free fatty acid is 0.3% in case of ghee and 1% in case of olive oil that would be calculated after using these values. So this was all about our experiment. We'll meet you in the next video.